I'll share with you, Thomas, something that just came to me um, when I was uh, self-review, you know, self-review of the recordings. Uh, something, a couple of the comments that you made in there um, <laughs> about how we translate and define the universe that we live in, the unicycle, the first unicycle, the first universe, the first cycle of an atom, the first cycle of consciousness energy, consciousness directed energy mirrors. And so I didn't mention in that clip, that audio video clip, um, um, what it sounded like when I was hunched down behind the chimney on top of a roof with a hundred, well, a couple hundred feet of inch and a half hose, cotton jacket hose, rubber lined on the inside, right? Um, putting out 90 gallons of water per minute and how the, how the, 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 the mathematical speed ratios relate to that with echo fire maps, fire and ice. And I wish you could have been there because not really though, but it's, it's like anything else that we experience the difference between secondhand information, right? In other words, you tell me that something happened that you experienced 40 years ago when I wasn't there. Well, how do I know that's true if I didn't experience it? Now we're into trust issues, right? And so the, I, I trust the one I'm with because I'm experiencing pure eternal absolute love. So that's who I serve. The one I'm with, the unicide, always cycling, <laughs> right? Spinning in the right direction. And so now we get into directions and directional fires and gyroscopes, the gyrodome. And so when this fire was moving down through the upper part of the forest and the higher elevations of the mountains as it relates to electrical potential and altitude density consciousness of a noble gas. Because that's what a tetrahedon is, is burning the gas, baby. And so it was moving. And so when this was happening, when I was experiencing this, I, I used certain descriptive terms. And I said, it sounds like, because of what it, I'm hearing is like a thousand freight trains that just hit the brakes. So after I thought about that, because I didn't include that in the last audio video that I did to share with you and the rest of the cosmos, imagine that you are a thousand cars, say with 10 engines, right? 10 engines, train engines, right? And you're coming down from Mount Everest. And halfway down Mount Everest, on those tracks, the dual tracks, the dual rails, steel against steel, steel wheels and steel track, and you hit the brakes, hydraulic brakes. Imagine what that would sound like. The amount of motion, vortex, spinning, and how that relates to code convolution it would become so contorted you can imagine what would happen mathematically on the visual landscape what that would look like if that happened that much energy that much mass coming down from the elevate higher elevation to the lower elevations the speed which is the torque speed which is the mathematical speed ratios Right? Between two magnets. Spinning. What would happen to that freight train? So that's what it sounded like. That's the descriptive way that I try and imagine in explaining it to somebody what that would what that would be like to experience that kind of shriek. Shrieking. And it was shrieking so loud, it was deafening. Thomas, deafening. It's like a howl, a shrieking howl. You can hear that spirit in the and that fire howling.
very powerful. You're hearing the spirit in that bar, shrieking. It is, it is, it is quite something to experience, Thomas. Born afar, the first sun temple. Have a beautiful day, Thomas. Thank you very much for your kind and compassionate and um, beautiful remarks. I love you too. Be good to yourselves. The inner child. Healing the inner child.